Good morning, family. It's lovely to be with you this morning as we reflect on the Word of God together as well as taking some time to pray together as well. I'm reading from the Gospel according to Luke, Luke chapter 21. I'm reading the first four verses of Luke 21. Listen to the weight of God. And Luke 21, reading from verse 1 to verse 4. As he looked up, Jesus saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. I tell you the truth, he said. This poor widow has put in more than all the others. Gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. May the Lord be blessed. Reading of his weight. This is a passage that we read in Luke. In this passage, Jesus observed the act of, of a poor widow who contributes two small coins to the temple treasury. He, he contrasts her offering with those of the wealthy individuals who were given from their abundance. In doing so, Jesus highlighted the significance and sacrificial nature of the woman's gift. I believe that there are key elements to consider in this passage. First is the setting of the temple treasury is important to understand. Because during this time, the temple served as a focal point for religious practices and acts of charity. The temple treasury was where people made their offerings and it was considered a place of great significance in the community. Jesus' attention to the widow's offering is also very significant. We have to understand that. In that he draws attention to the marginalized marginalized status as a widow and her poverty will display by acknowledging her gift jesus emphasizes the value of her contribution despite its apparent apparent insignificance because in material terms, it will be considered very insignificant. He redirects the focus from the amount of the gift to the spirit in which it was given. When Jesus states that the widow has given more than all the others, he is addressing the heart of the matter. While the wealthy individuals were giving out of their surplus, the widow in her poverty gave all that she had to live on. Her act of giving was an expression of profound faith and trust in God's provisions. In this passage, Jesus is not only highlighting the widow's sacrificial gift, but also challenging the conventional understanding of generosity and sacrifice. Through her action, the widow demonstrates a complete dependence on God, trusting that he will provide for her needs despite her poverty. And in emphasizing the widow's contribution, Jesus is also challenging the societal norms and values of the time. He is urging his followers to adopt a different perspective on wealth and generosity. The widow's offering becomes a powerful symbol of selflessness and faith, inspiring others to consider 
the true spirit of giving. When Jesus declares that the widow has given her whole livelihood, he is emphasizing the profound depths of her sacrifice. The two small coins represented all that she had. And by giving them, she was displaying the unwavering commitment to honoring God. Jesus uses her example to teach his disciples about the true nature of stewardship and sacrificial giving. In this passage, we can draw several important lessons. First, firstly, it teaches us the value of sacrificial giving. The widow's offering challenges us to examine our own attitude towards generosity. It prompts prompt us to consider whether we give out of, out of abundance or out of sincere desire to honor and trust in God. From this passage, we can draw several important lessons as we, as we do that. Because the second thing is, this passage reminds us of the importance of recognizing and acknowledging the contribution of those who are marginalized and overlooked in society. The widow's act of giving may have gone unnoticed by many, but Jesus saw its profound significance and chose to highlight it, reminding us that God values and recognizes the heart of those who give with sincerity and faith. In addition, this passage also encourages us to reevaluate our perspectives on wealth and poverty. The widow's example challenges us to consider the true worth of possessions and to examine our priorities. It prompts us to reflect on how we use our resources and whether we are willing to give sacrificially to the benefit of others. Ultimately, Jesus' words about the poor widow's offering call us to deeper and a more authentic expression of our faith. It challenges us to examine the sincerity and depth of our commitment to God and to consider how our actions reflect our trust in his provisions and care. And Jesus' observation of the poor widow offering serves as a powerful lesson in sacrificial giving, faith, and stewardship. It challenges us to re-examine our attitudes towards generosity and wealth and prompt us to consider the true spirit with which we give. The widow example continue to inspire and challenge us to this day, reminding us of the profound impact of a humble and sincere act of giving. We are starting the season of Advent soon. Not only a time of, of expectation, but a time of joy, and time of celebration, a time of giving, um, a time in which we reevaluate our blessings and respond with generosity to others, to our loved ones, to our friends, to people that we know, people that are special to us. There will be huge exchange of gifting and gifts. And my prayer is that we, we will learn from this poor widow that she, she gave out of a deep generosity that existed in her heart. 
that it was love that prompted her, the love for the Lord, the love to bless others who are maybe not fortunate. And also a great learning to us that it does not mean that when you don't have enough resources in your life, you are unable to give. The poor widow help us to understand that giving cut it, cut across the status and even the definition of wealth and possession it cut it across, it cuts across that and may your faith continue to inspire the spirit of generosity so that your life your giving has a profound impact in the lives of others amen Friends, let us take some time praying together. Um, let us pray. Father, as we approach your throne, we, we, do, we do so with hearts that are full of gratitude for the multiple ways in which you have blessed us. Our hearts are grateful because today we have been reminded of the interconnectedness of our faith and the spirit of generosity. So we acknowledge that our faith calls us to stewardship, reminding us that all we have is a gift from higher authority. It's a gift from you. And with that gift comes the responsibility to share it with others. As we reflect on the profound connection between faith and generosity, we seek a deeper understanding of how these two principles shape our lives and the lives of those around us. May our faith inspire us to embody generosity in all aspects of lives, moving us beyond the self-interest to a place of empathy and selfless service to others. Father, we ask for the strength to overcome any fear and scarcity, trusting in the abundance that is created through acts of generosity. May our faith provide us with the assurance that in giving, we connect with others and we connect with divine and also with one another in a meaningful and impactful way. Give us the wisdom to recognize opportunities for generosity. Whether through act of service, the sharing of material resources, or the offering of our time and talents, help us to see these opportunities as pathways to living out the values and the principles of our faith. As we engage in these acts of giving, may we experience the transforming power of generosity. May it deepen our faith, strengthen 
our sense of purpose and nurture a spirit of gratitude within us. We also lift up our broader community, acknowledging the impact that faith-inspired generosity can have on the world around us. May our collective actions and kindness and compassion be a beacon of hope and of healing in a world that is often divided and troubled. We offer our gratitude for the guidance and the inspiration that comes from our faith and for the capacity to express our faith through acts of generosity. May we be sustained by the love that flows from our faith and the generosity that flows from our heart. Father, we, we pray that you will reach deep into places where there is violence, where conflicts have deepened. People are dying. And so, Father, we, we ask that the mercy and grace will reach those uh, trouble spots around the globe. And Father, as we get ready for the season of Advent, prepare our hearts and our minds so that our hearts and our lives will be ready to receive the birth of Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Friends, thank you for logging in. It has been wonderful spending this time with you. And I pray that the Lord will bless you, that the Lord will just grant you strength and that he will deepen your faith, he will deepen your love for him. And as we begin the season of Advent, blessings in abundance in your life. We see you soon. Amen.